We are going to look at how to save our settings in the forum so we can always revisit our project just like any other um, file out. I mean, just like any other software after effect Photoshop. I experienced this a few times where I always couldn't reload and I always had to enter my settings all the way from scratch. I had to go into the prompt. I had to um, put in the keyframes, you know, and everything else. So first of all, when you open the forum, under the forum, you're going to see um, the settings file here, which is going to look like this. And to save your file, um, you just have to type in the name of your project and you keep the TXT, but then uh, you just have to change this. So our project is based on uh, the Marvel. I'm just going to rename this. So once we have this, that's all we need. Um, this is going to save all our prompts. It's going to save all our keyframes. And also it's going to save all our output. Usually I find this here, but um, it's, not, it's not really a big deal. And also the composition settings. So when I click save settings, I think this is the challenge because the forum doesn't tell you if it's saved or it doesn't, it doesn't make you aware even after clicking this. So I don't know if maybe this is going to be updated some sometime in the future, but all you need to do is to go into your drive C where you have uh, the forum, I mean, where you have stable diffusion saved. Uh, you open into your drive C folder and now you're supposed to see this here as a Marvel versus DC. This is your open project for the forum. But usually um, it doesn't show anywhere for you to find it. So once you have this here, you can always revisit your project um, from all the settings you had. Secondly, we are going to reopen this. So we see if this is actually working um, from all the settings we have. And I'm going to reload the UI. So once we are in the forum, everything is back to default. 512, 512, 25, we have nothing here. And uh, we have no prompt, we have a default prompt, right? So to revisit the project, all we need to do is to come here and uh, we delete everything here. We go back into our drive C, which I have here, where stable diffusion was installed. And all we need to do is locate the file we saved. So we save it as Marvel versus DC, this one here. All we have to do is to shift right click. I'm on a Windows 10 to copy the path. So you copy as path. And we just come here and uh, we just paste it here. So another thing you need to be careful of is just to take out the quotes at the end and also the quotes in the beginning and we click load all settings and the forum is going to change everything here from 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 the default to what we had saved earlier on so uh let's take a look at this magic there we go so now we see everything changed back to our settings 720 1280 uh, we have all our prompts in here and also we have our output. Usually um, I see this error, but it's nothing to be worried about because once we start um, generating, it's, it's going to load everything like we had. So we have our prompt loaded. We have all our keyframes from our settings from the previous project. And also we have everything down here. So if we should now go to generate, we are going to find this loading from our settings. Okay, so as we can see, this, this is loading from our previous project and we can see um, we have the forum generating our animation here. So I'm going to I'm going to cancel this because this was a project um, I already created earlier on. This was earlier on and this was animated. Um, if you guys would want a full tutorial on this, I would like to know and maybe yeah, I can share with you guys later. So um, another another option to, to know or to have your settings by not saving 
is also after the forum usually finishes everything the forum also gives you this txt file most of the time in your output folder so that is also another way for you to revisit your project so first of all you can save your project manually by going into your stable diffusion folder and locating your project here and secondly also the forum usually um, automatically saves your project for you and uh, your output folder once it's done which you can locate here so if we open this we're going to find all the settings here which we can always uh, right click again shift click copy the path and we can come to we can come to the settings here right and we can always paste it this is also another way and uh, remember always to take out your quotes in the end and also in the beginning so this is another way of, of also revisiting your project but this only happens after you've exported everything imagine your pc just goes off without you saving you don't have to wait for everything to be done before actually uh, having your settings so usually i would save ahead of time before i start exporting so that's where you can rename this to what you want like we said earlier you click the save settings and then you're gonna find that um, under your outputs under your outputs you, you you scroll down here and then you're gonna find uh, your settings here so i hope this was helpful i hope this was clear enough for everyone and if i'm on a different direction or there's a simpler way of doing this i'll be glad to know in the comments so this was my challenge i had and uh, i just thought to share and put this idea out there so thanks for watching yeah bye bye